How do you determine the, the size of my vertical bolt lift? Um, first off, you look at the, uh, the wind charm on the front for the one by five sticker, which will tell you the capacity and the model number. Um, if that is, if you cannot find that, um, the first thing to look at is the cross tubes. On 1100 vertical lift, we'll have a two inch by two and a half inch beam. Um, and it will also have a gear winch, which is a brown colored winch. The 1600 has a two inch by four inch beam that is 96 and a half inches long. Uh, it also has a brown colored winch, the DNL Dunton Lanson winch. A 2600 has a two inch by four inch tube, uh, which is 106 and a half inches. It has a chain driven winch, the gear winch. A 3800 vertical lift has a two inch by five inch beam um, that is 115 and a half inches. Uh, it has a chain driven winch, the gear winch. A 4600 looks really similar to a 38. It is a two inch by five inch tube, um, but on that five inch tube on the outside, you will see a reinforcement flat that is welded on. Um, is one of the easiest ways to identify that. The 56 and 66 vertical lifts have a three and three quarter by seven and a half inch beam, the back beam that the boat sits on. Uh, they're really similar to each other. The, the cables are pretty much the same. The easiest identification between the two is that the cable that is on the winch is three ace.